Hey Facebook, good morning. Michelle Back is here. I am currently on Jackman Road right by the UAW Local 14. In just hours, Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden will be speaking at the UAW Local 14. Now, if you've heard about this, the public won't be allowed to come. Nonetheless, a press pool will be in there. We will be streaming this live on WTOL.com, so make sure that you do have our app downloaded. We also will have a one-on-one -on -one interview with Joe Biden. Our Melissa Andrews will be conducting that. There's a lot going on here this morning. If you can see, we're actually pretty far away from the UAW compared to where we were this morning. I'm going to switch the camera around and let you get a look at where we are. You can see in the corner there of that building, that is the UAW Local 14. The Secret Service is here. So are the campaign managers and whatnot. So they actually asked us to move a few times. We've moved about three to four times and now we are back here as they continue doing sweeps and security checks around that area. Now, many of you are asking why Joe Biden chose Toledo to speak. Well, it really shows that Ohio is a battleground state. Both candidates have been honing in to Ohio. And according to the most recent polling from Baldwin Wallace University, Biden is actually trailing behind President Trump by two points here in Ohio. So again, it is crunch time. We have less than three weeks until the election. Both candidates trying to hone in on the voters here in this area. Now, Toledo is also a shouting distance away from Michigan, another battleground state. This poll also showed that Biden's lead shrunk in Michigan and Wisconsin. And we do know those are two swing states that handed Trump the Electoral College victory back in 2016. Something interesting to note as well, the Biden campaign has actually ramped up advertising here in the Ohio area. The Trump campaign has actually decreased advertising in the area. Keep in mind, President Trump did win Ohio by nearly eight points back in 2016. He's set to speak today at 1.15. Again, this event is not expected to be open to the public. From there, Joe Biden will travel to Cincinnati for a voter mobilization event. And here in Toledo, Joe Biden will deliver remarks on building back the economy for working families. That is according to his campaign. This is something both candidates have focused on here. The economy, especially during this pandemic, Ohio has a lot of blue collar workers. If you remember, President Trump had visited Clyde, Ohio a few months ago, talking about the economy, talking about the North American trade deal there. Also focusing on the auto industry, not only here in Ohio, but Michigan as well. You can see not too much going on here right now. Now this speech is supposed to be centered around the economy. Nonetheless, there is room for other questions. We will have a one on one interview with Democratic candidate Joe Biden. Our Melissa Andrews will be conducting that. If you've been following us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you might have seen us ask you if you have a question for Joe Biden. We will be taking one of your questions and asking it during that one-on-one -on -one interview. So make sure to submit those questions to us ahead of that interview. I'm gonna try to get a little closer here. Yeah, I believe we had to move three to four times this morning, understandably so. Um, we started out at the UAW Local 14 parking lot. We moved outside of the area across the street into this church parking lot. And now we are here as the Secret Service is doing their sweeps. I'm also told that one of the roads, one of the side roads coming into the UAW will be closed off around nine this morning. I'm also told that some of the UAW workers potentially will be in their cars for the speech. Not sure, however, how that's going to work, whether they're going to dial into a radio frequency or the speech will be broadcasted aloud with the speakers. We did see the stage is set up though. The fencing is put into place. We saw some caution tape over there. Um, some secret service members doing their rounds around the building. don't think I'm in anyone's way, so I'll try to give you guys a better look. There you go. And again, this really does show that Ohio is still a battleground state.
especially according to the most recent polling by Baldwin Wallace University. But again, as we all know, polling can change every single day. Let me try to zoom in there for you. And see that tannish building right there? That is the local UAW Local 14 right behind there is where Joe Biden will be giving his speech again. Press will be allowed at that event, so make sure you are watching WTOL. We'll have live coverage. We'll be live streaming that event. We'll also have our one-on-one -on -one interview. We'll be speaking with people like you all throughout the day as well. Your thoughts, opinions, questions, concerns. So you guys can see not too much going on right now. I actually just saw a Biden sign come up there. I don't think that was there before. And keep in mind, nationally, the UAW has endorsed Joe Biden as the 2020 presidential candidate. Again, Toledo is still a battleground area here. Ohio, a battleground state. And Toledo is in with shouting distance of Michigan, another area that both the Trump and Biden campaign have been focusing on. Between Ohio, Pennsylvania, Michigan, two of our neighbors there. So make sure to tune in to WTOL Channel 11 as well as Fox 36. We're going to have live coverage all throughout the day. If you haven't done so yet, download the WTOL app. We're going to be sending alerts right to your phone. You won't want to miss anything. We're going to have coverage all throughout the day. And we'll be asking one of your questions in our one-on-one -on -one interview with Joe Biden. So make sure that you tune in.